Hey guys, it's Honey here, and welcome to my Project Pan update. Well, that was a big swing of the head, and I'm sliding about it right in my wheelchair. So, I don't actually remember how long ago it was that I updated last, but I've gone through and marked my products, and I'm going to show you the progress. I'm actually going to start with the Marina Showgirl Vera Eternal Gloss, because I have used this, but it... I can't actually see any progress in this so I'm going to not mark this until I can like it because there's air bubbles in here so I don't really know what to do with this so like I've been sitting it up this way in my makeup holder but it just hasn't actually gone down so I'm not sure what to do with that but I haven't using it I'm wearing it today Okay, my Benefit Professional. I've marked it down here. Last time I marked it, it was up here. But even marking it down here, it's probably higher than I should have marked it. There is not much in this at all. I'm going to try and do updates every two weeks if I can. Um, as I said in my October favourites, work has been really busy and like next week I'm working nearly every day. So... I'm going to try and update as much, like, every two weeks as consistently as I can. But, pff, so, this is actually going to go up next Monday. So, I'll try and update it on Mondays. Film it on Wednesday, update it on Monday, if I can. Um, but, yes, this will probably be gone in, like, a week, if that. I'm not going to cut it open and get everything out because I just can't be bothered to do that. And I have enough primers to get through, so not much of this left. You can't mark a mascara, an eyeliner. Wait, this isn't in this one. Is it in this one? I can't remember what's in my project pen and what's in finished sheets by Christmas. Mascara, foundation, Kimmy Brow. You know, it's not in there, I'll cut it out. Okay, so my Benefit They're Real Push Up Liner, I've been using it every day, but you can't really like mark on this, but I have been using it every day. My Revlon. <clears throat> so for my Revlon Just Been Kissable Balm Stain in Honey, I've been using it a lot, and I'm not going to wind it up, but as I have marked it, so it's gone down that much. I'm using it a lot, and I do have like a lot of lip products in here and I do use other lip products as well I haven't solely been focusing on these because obviously for work I have to wear work colours so but I have been using it it is slowly going down so hopefully we'll continue to see progress in that continue with, with lips my Dior Addict lipstick it's getting down there um, again it's about similar progress as the balm stain so that is where it's up to the second line. It's that. Again, I've been using it every every day. I'm um, with check out my favourites to see how I've been using it. Um the so I don't know if I've updated that I have finished my sugar rose tinted lip balm. I don't know how it is completely gone, it's all scraped out, I can't get any more out. So I've this is going to be my empties, but what I have replaced, put in is the Clinique Black Honey Tinted Lip Balm. And I marked it as I was about to start using it, which was, oh, can you see this top mark here? And now it is down to here. I use it every morning when I'm putting my makeup on. It's really nice. Um, I probably wouldn't go and buy one, even in a different colour. But it is nice as a tinted lip balm in the morning, which is what I used the rose for just as I'm applying my makeup, I put this on. So I don't have to stick my pot finger in my Nivea lip butter, which you can see a lot of progress on this. Like this, I don't know if this is officially in my project pen, but I'm trying to use it up. So yeah, this is slowly going. All right, my Girl Meets Pearl, I'm using it every day, but uh, not even every day, actually. I've been I've been using it as much as I can, but on those days that I'm rushed for work, I just don't put any cheek products on and do it when I get to work. So I've been trying to use it. You can't really mark it, but I have been using it. My Hula Bronzer has cracked. 
So I've hit Pam and it is cracked. Hello. So yes. Hello. Um, I've been using Hello. it though. Girl is it okay? Okay. So next is my still convertible color in Gerbera, which I am currently wearing on my cheeks. And I did have on my lip filler this morning, but it's kind of hard to reapply as a lip product. But I am using it a lot. You kind of can't see much progress, but I am using it most days. Again, same as the highlight if I run out of time to do my cheeks, then I don't. But I've been using this a lot. I've been topping that with my Maxwell dressed, which is just annoying me because I see no progress and it's just so hard that I don't even think it's picking up products. So what I'm actually going to do, I'm just going to back, back to MAC list. I am just so disappointed in this product that I'm going to put a new blush to top my still of convertible colour in. So let me just grab that. Okay, so I'm going to top it with a similar coloured blush and that is Benefits Dainty Line. It's kind of a bit more pink, like lighter pink. But again, it's a really light toned blush, so I don't want to really overpower the stealer because it is so kind of, this is very pigmented, so I don't want to kind of top it with something that's really intense. So I'm going to use Benefit's Dandelion. Um, my Benefit Bad Girl Waterproof Liner is down to the nib. I can't actually twist it anymore because of this bottom bit. I can't actually sharpen it anymore. So I'm calling it quits on this. And I'm transferring in my Lancome La Crayon Col Noir Eyeliner in obviously Noir, which is black. My Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. As you can see, I am making some serious progress. More and more rings are showing every day. I'm using it every day. And I'm using it to touch up throughout the day. And I'm going to definitely be done with this. Maybe in a month or two. Hopefully the end of the year. And then my Rimmel Glamise HD Quint in English Rose. So I've hit pan on this little one here. This one is really close to hitting pan. This one I don't use as much. I, I use these two and the pink one the most. The pink one has a significant dip in it in the centre. Which if you can see that it really goes is dipped down. But it's definitely going to take me a long time to finish up the pink shade. Probably not the other shades as much. But I find them really annoying because the pants are so small to actually get any more product out of like this colour here. So, yeah, so that's that. And then my Maybelline colour tattoo. I wanted to show you this before I went and repressed it because I've hit some serious pan and it, the well is just getting bigger and bigger. But I'm going to go and melt it and kind of push it down because it's really just kind of going up to the side so I'm going to repress that hopefully I'll be done with that by the end of the year as well so I think that's everything that's in my project pan I can't really remember um I think everything else that I'm thinking of is in my finished six by Christmas which would have already been updated so yes there's that um so thank you for watching I'm hoping to update these more frequently um so keep an eye out for that guys I'd love you guys to keep me accountable on these videos because yeah I just I need your motivation okay so thanks for watching you guys give this video a thumbs up if you liked it comment down below how you guys are doing on your project pants give me some inspiration I'd love to know how you guys are going uh, click subscribe the buttons right here will keep you up to date on all my videos and I'll see you in my next one bye